I am so cheesy today, you won't believe I had to go to this. this we we'll have to go to this. On top of this, this Dave actually bails on me today. Because he has to take care of his daughter today and stuff like that. And on top of that, that I was at, I was late for the show today. I was got stuck in traffic. It started to rain early this morning. I was caught in the rain. I caught a chill. I was really crazy. On top of that, that idiot pops would let me in the building. <laughs> and I should go with my car broke down. On top of that, my car broke down. Basically, it was, it was damaged at a stunt like I imagined. And at the time, it actually fell off a cliff that was actually damaged the truck. And now it won't start anymore. At the time, it was going about 10,000 miles an hour, which is the fastest it's ever gone. Fastest it's ever gone. Or just start the show. Start the show. Start the show. Or the way. Oh, well, um, especially I had to go through. Well, kids, we have a great show for the RT today. Especially we have a great, great show to show I mean, we'll have a great show today. It's so amazing. Anyway. Anyway. Why don't you watch my favorite cartoons? This is a cartoon called The Family Circus. Really amazing. This is, was made in 1947. This is was before we were to the first round or cartoons of family car the popular cartoon ship family circus. Hope you enjoy it. How many of workers families formed when who should show up at an evil giant? A giant was terrifying the kingdom. Um and the ill or family's vegetables. First was angry. Some things knew something had to be done about this giant, so she talked to the knight. This is the knight agreed to help and all that. So Rosefair agreed to help. Um, the letter, there, Hillary and Sir Rosefair were on their way to slay the giant. Yeah. Hillary and Sir Rosefair were making camp one night. Then they saw a bunch of dark elves and they chased them off. Then Hillary and Sir Rosefair we was chased by a harpy and she drops off. First, Hillary was scared. If you want to, you can go home right now. You may live a long, fruitful life. But Hillary agreed to go on. Soon they were at the giant's cave. They went in. They were asleep. The giant is through roast and began to fight. The giant flung the roast against the wall. Then Hillary took a poison arrow and, and shot the giant in the neck. He fell dead. And and Sir Rose Fiora and Hillary were honored were honored with a reach honor with medal. They were made heroes. Thank you. Hey kids, now it's time to play along. So grab your puppets by Ted Fred Ted Show and build and let's have a puppet show. All I need to do is follow along with the music words. Once upon a time there was a village out in the middle of nowhere where only a lot of people have gone to. And they seemed they had stayed. One day a stranger actually went out to that village. He was looking for food. This man was a stranger. But he was down on this earth. Hello, can I give you some food? Can I give you some food? And what we get resenting a stranger. Or Give me some food, I'll show you some great magic tricks on imagine. No, get away! Give me we have no food to give you. Mm. Give me some food, I'll sing with song like we'll imagine. No, go away! I have no food to give you. Not the stranger again getting more discouraged. Urged. Give me some food, I'll irritate with some magic tricks and some juggling. Mm. No, I have no food to give you. Go away. That's the stranger again getting more discouraged. So he washed his hand in the river. Then he made a pot appear with water. Again, playing a tune to his flute. How do you know that song? That's a song from my old village. 
my old country. Yes, I brought you a soup stone. And I will, will make stone soup for you. You some carrots, please. I have carrots or it's right here. I have snap peas. Mm. And some potatoes and some broccoli and some and, and some celery. I have some some of those. I have some stuff. And a bit of meat. A bit of meat too. Now if only I had had some barley to cup milk. It'd be great when I entertained the king. You irritated the king? You irritated the king? I have some barley and some milk. It makes it all together. All of you will get to taste this. First, the table will be set. Great kills are Of course, the bread, and some roast, and some cider. Amazing. We we'll never go hungry. Now we know how to eat soup from stones. Mm. Best, but keep the soup stone. You'll need it. Once you eat it, you don't have any great soup. And that was our story, Stone Soup. Jack and Jill went up to hill, thinking they escaped their fall. Those banana peels got under their heels, chasing them around the hall. Just can't escape, but Adam, Jack, and Jill went to the school, thinking they escaped their fall. Those banana peels got under their heels, chasing them down the hall. Just can't escape, but Adam, Jack and Jill went up the hill, thinking they escaped their fall. Those banana hills went out under their heels and chased up the hall. Just can't escape, banana peels, Jack and Jill were right at home. Thinking they escaped their fall. Those banana peels got under their heels. And Jack fell down, broke his crown. Joke a couple of after. Wait, that is a rhyme. Uh, Just can't escape banana peels. Hi, this is Ted Harris Harris Puppets. Today with Harris Puppets, now we're going to be telling a story. We're going to be acting out a story. This is called Watermaker and the Elf. So enjoy. Once upon a time, there was a watermaker who was like to make letters. He was quite good at just making letters every day. Oh boy, I'm a letter maker. I love to make letters. Then who should ever but the king? Oh, your majesty, you fright me. Yeah, I frighten a lot of people. See these letters? Aha. Uh -huh. These are C, P, and W. Those are my favorite letters. I want to make a set like that. You think you can do it? I think I can. And so the letter maker worked all night making a, the cell letters for the king. The king ride. Well, where's my cell letters? Right here. Wait a minute, this is a, a CPNW. This is MLLV. I have a C first, a P in the middle, a W last. You better get it right this time. Alright, I'll try to do it better. And so the Lord Mayor worked all night and say, how many you get right? Well, where's my cell letters? You better have gotten it right this time. Well, I have this work better. It should work. Wait, this is D U M. I have a C first, a P in the middle, a W last. Do you know why I do the people who don't get who don't follow my orders? That way you do. I said to my gang, and my gang, tell them! Oh no, please do it! Yeah! I'll get right, I promise. I don't believe that. I hate being tickled. 
I've been working for three all day trying to get right. Oh well, maybe the king will cut say. Real, I want to have everything. I hope you got right. Either. Wait, this is G R W. The C and C and the G also look the same. The R and the P also look the same. And we both have a W. I better call you know. Wait, no, wait. I mean, it's worse that. Wait, this is P C W U F C W P. I have a C first. A P in the middle and W last. Why are I calling gay? Why are you right? You are right on that thing all day. Oh, no, I know, I know, I know. Hmm. Oh boy, how about getting this right? I'd really be tickled. Hey, wait a minute, this flyer. What does it say? We can do anything. Contact all night elves. I'll call them. Hello, are you all the all night elves? You cool? Wow, you got here fast. Well, I need some sets of letters done. C, P, and W. Think you get right? Oh, we can do it. No problem. Some of the elves worked all night. But like, when you learn your there's orders, there's, and hopefully would have gotten them right. Oh, boy, morning. I helped the case out by now. Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, what's going on here? Don't worry, Your Majesty. I got it right. You did? Of course, I got letter set. The most C P and W. I made the word set. They don't have to tickle me. I don't? Hey gay, come here and tickle this guy. Wait a minute. What are you doing? No, of course. We're too sure we're not all a show full. Take care of him, gang. And so the learning was tickled to his heart's content, it was amazing. Personally, you okay? Of course you know. <laughs> and that's our story. Three. The King and the Farman, said by Harris Puppets. Once upon a time was a king, was a very was a good king, but a very clueless king. And he was getting ready for a big festival in the kingdom. Everything's happy, but one day his his palace caught on fire. Oh my god, help! My palace is on fire! Help, help! Don't worry, your highness. I will put that fire on my guard. Put out my fire on my hose. And the fireman put out the fire. Her. Everything was good. And the festival went on as planned. And, anyway, and the king was so grateful to the fireman, he said, I hereby decree that everyone quits their jobs and becomes firemen. So everyone in the kingdom quit their prospective jobs and became firemen. Then later the king was off for a walk. Suddenly he tripped and hurt his foot. Oh my god, I hurt my foot! Where's the royal doctor? Hurry up, your highness, but I'm a... I was a doctor, but now I'm a fireman. You know, if I... If I'm alive, sorry to make you feel better. <coughs> Not my ears hurt too. There the king was waiting for his bell. Where's the bell bell with the royal bell bell with my bell? Oh. Hello, I was a bell bell, but now I'm a fireman. Where's my bell? I don't know, but there's a hose. See around. Now the king was getting more discouraged. Then the next day, boy am I hungry. I'll have a cheeseburger, french fries, and a chocolate milkshake. Don't worry, Your Highness. I was a, I was a, a cook, but now I'm, now I'm a fireman now. Here's a fire extinguisher. Maybe a little ketchup wouldn't taste so bad. Well, the king had had enough. He decided, I hereby decree that everybody, when he stops being fireman, goes back to respective jobs. And that's what it does. Well, now I'm a doctor. I can take care of your foot again. Hmm. And now I'm a mailman. I can I can deliver the mail again. And now I'm a cook again. I can make you food again. Can you learn a good lesson? It takes all kinds of people to make a world. It'd be boring for all the same. It'd be pretty silly too. The end.
I guess, you know, we were supposed to present a scary story today. We have a useful situation because it's St. Patrick's Day. Anyway, she just tells stories from Ireland from ERA. Kramer actually is planning to move back to Ireland. He used to tell stories to ERA. And when he told us, he gave his hat. He said, Tell my lad, guard it well. It's blessed in the power of pixies. The pixies? I think this is what Irish people call fairies. Kramer said, if you are acting fair, then call fairies. He's telling these stories about a like Kelpie, type of male mermaid that lured girls on, onto the ocean so it could turn them to mermaids. And one of his favorite stories about the leprechauns. They're like little people make, make, they dig for gold to make shoes. And they dress all in green and wear hats. He said he got the hat in trade. So it also picks you a trade. You can't refuse no matter how bad it says. Yours be mine, and mine be yours. And this is one of the favorite stories. I'm going to tell Zach all of this. Jake was a talented actor. It was great and amazing. You have my mark. Mark. Now why would a boy like that? Stand aside, all's begun. Sorry. So where is it? What's that? Herbal tea. Maybe I could use that? Well, you're a great actor, Jakey. Well, where is I could use that? Here's where he got the tea. Take a good long drink, sugar, so you can be bright and fresh. Well, you will be like you're a sight and all that. Sean O'Shea great amazing. So what can I do for you? Need some of these groups to make tea? Uh, bluebells, right need? How dare you? Out with you, out! The goblin will be here. I'll turn me into a banshee. You'll never be a boy again. Please hurry. The dance with me. Speak as I speak. Turn me now to spare bright so I can turn this very right. What? What's happening? No, no, I don't want to deal with this. You know what to do. Mr. Shady, it's me, Jake. Ah, go away, you're not welcome. You think I'm a fool, and I'm nothing but a fool. Good day. But this, this drives these things. This herbal tea. It's really be funny. Maybe not funny. What is this place? I like the in the speaker piece. So get on with it. Well, I'm in this place, see, and it cost me a trophy a banshee. So nice. Go on. You don't know anything about this. I trade with a spring it. Your if you mind and mine be yours was all I took. Cost me a trip or toothpick. Your if you mind and mine be yours. Sounds like a for a play. I'll come to see this play. Great and amazing. Sizzling star bites. And, and then, what happened? We changed for everything. This is Aaron. I suspect him well. Where exactly does he dwell? His room's in the outside of town. Nobody ever goes there. He always dabs before performances. Well, what better time to play him a visit? I was like visitors. That's a chat. That's a play to be crafty. Aaron's got pet toad. It's a changeling. We all got time. Right, we cowslip. The one time, Mon Root. Now we're in business. Aaron's a banshee. They drink the teas of the bluebells, ragweed, and cowslip. What's that to me? This is where I get sticky. Banshees feed on a human souls they do. If you're that, to devour more. The toad was a person. A changeling. That's the oath they're taking to play. For real. Call my mom and dad. Get the police. Take it easy, skipper. Look at you. You can't survive as half a changeling. What do you do? be in his own game. First. First. Don't be fearless. Swallow this. Spiders, forget it. We don't have time. Oh, fearless. Was, uh, make him play his own game. Don't drink that yourself. Don't worry. And one. Never take his eyes off his. Lock your eyes with him. Spellbind him. It's all worth it. The, the angels be with you. Then dance with me, speak as I speak. 
Turn me now, this fair bright, so I can turn this very bright. Turn me now, this fair bright, and turn out very right. Who have you been talking to? Ah! Oh, this gaze! <laughs> you thought you could beat me? Oh my god! Mm. Um. Hello there, measles. Or is it Aaron now? Sean O'Shaney. The measles utro tricks. All tricks work. Seven years I've waited, and now you're mine! So have I! My tea! Yes, I kept all these yours. I care for a trade. Yours be mine, and I be yours. No! I'm some friend, different place. Return again to the human race. You did it. You beat the banshees. Great and amazing. Will O' Wisp was never performed again, and an errand had disappeared. That Kramer was for you. I wish you all a very happy St. Patrick's Day. Once upon a time there was a princess who lived in a castle. One day she decided to walk. Dum de do, I think I'll go for a walk. And she walked through the forest. Before she knew it, she was lost. She didn't know what to do. Oh dear, where am I? I do not know where I am. I wish someone would help me find my way out of this forest. Then who should come along? But two hungry bears were looking for her. They growled and growled and growled. Put this was scared. Then she found the correct path. The bears were close on her heels. Rawr! Then there was a huge chasm right across. The bears didn't realize the princess was an excellent lawn jumper. And she jumped all over the chasm! The chasm was so deep, it was so wide. The bears could have run around it, and they could have jumped over it. We'll get you next time! Once again, the princess was safe inside her castle. She lived happily around the end.